This is the Spring 2021 issue of the BVA Bulletin, Volume 76, Number 2. Dr. Thomas Samperi of Pearland, Texas, is the Blinded Veterans Association National President. Joseph McNeil of Columbus, Georgia, serves as the current National Vice President. The National Secretary is Daniel Wallace of Martinez, Georgia, and the National Treasurer is Elizabeth Holmes of Midland, Georgia. Serving as District Directors from Districts 1 through 6 are the following. Dennis O'Connell of Long Beach, New York, representing District 1. Brian Harris of Homewood, Illinois, the Interim Director of District 2. Monica Gilmore of Nightdale, North Carolina, serving District 3. And Ray Hale of Deer Park, Washington, holding the position of Interim District Director for District 4. Daryl Goldsmith of Pensacola, Florida, is the Director of District 5, and Kevin Jackson of Austin, Texas, is the Director of District 6. Additional appointed officers are National Chaplain Dr. Ron Lester of Tucson, Arizona, and National Sergeant-at-Arms Kenan Horn of Edmond, Oklahoma. Garrett Bolks of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Jeffrey Mittman of Indianapolis, Indiana, represent BVA on the Trusted Advisory Council. Blinded Veterans Association auxiliary officers are as follows. President Sandy Krasnodemsky of Allen Park, Michigan, Vice President Edna Kirksey Dixon of Bay Minette, Alabama, Secretary Sherry Harris-Bates of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Treasurer Benjamin Holmes from Midland, Georgia. Patricia Hale of Deer Park, Washington, serves as the auxiliary reporter and is the author of the Auxiliary's View column for this issue. BVA staff members serving the association's membership nationwide consist of Executive Director Donald D. Overton, Jr., National Service Director for Veterans Benefits and Policy, James R. Vale, and Administrative Director Bridget Jones. The Deputy Director of the Veterans Service Program is Dwayne Driscoll. The Membership Coordinator is Maria Ingenieri, while the Development Coordinator is Andrea Malmer. Aaron McConnell serves as the Government Relations Specialist. The new Information Technology Specialist and Webmaster is Jordan Chesley. The Director of Public Relations and Editor of the Bulletin is Stuart Nelson. The BVA National Headquarters is located at 1101 King Street, Suite 300, Alexandria, Virginia, 22314. Each full-time headquarters staff member can be reached by dialing 202-371-8880 or toll-free 1-800-669-7079, and by then following prompts that connect the caller to the correct department and employee. Email communication will be forwarded to the appropriate recipient when sent through BVA's general email address, bva at bva.org. The BVA Bulletin is published quarterly by and for all blinded veterans. There is no charge to receive the print version of the publication, which is available upon request of the National Headquarters to any interested individual or organization. Requests for multiple copies will also be honored whenever possible. An audio compact disc version is mailed to BVA members upon specific request. Other formats include a web-based narrated audio version with image descriptions, a PDF replica of the print version, and a descriptive email version transmitted as a Word document. Contents of this issue of the Bulletin are entitled as follows. President's Page by Dr. Thomas M. Perry. Legislative Update by James R. Vale. Executive Director's Message to Members by Donald D. Overton, Jr. A virtual launch for BVA's 76th, The Busy Beeman, our BVA jewel from Texas, by Sila Miller. Around BVA. Auxiliary's View by Patricia Hale. Veteran Service Program Update by Dwayne Driscoll. Chaplain's Corner by Dr. Ron Lester. How Well Am I Managing My Self-Care? by Pascal Botte. Sources of Potential Help in Starting a Business by Kelly Brewer. Of Note in remembrance, and the customary final thought. Three color photos have been placed against a light blue background on the cover of this, the spring 2021 issue of the bulletin. Two vertical photos are situated next to one another in the upper half of the page, while the horizontal photo has been placed in the lower half. It is evident that each of the photos has been taken in different time periods and in different locations. 
The first of the upper photos reveals two women with name badges standing closely together side by side. The lady on the left is wearing a skirt, blouse, and jacket, while the lady on the right is wearing dark pants and a white blouse. Both are smiling broadly. In the background to the right, a television monitor is visible. It appears to be showing an airport walkway in service to several travelers. Shown in the left background is a sign about departure gates, followed by the letter E. The second photo reveals the same lady who was on the left in the first photo. In this second photo, the background is a plot of the lawn and is followed by the image of the White House in the distance. The lady attired in a black dress is holding a red, white, and blue tote bag in her right hand with a small name identifier that clearly says Margarine Beeman. Margarine has a faint smile. The third of the photos, this one seen below the other two, includes Margarine at the far right. Next to her, moving in the photo and posing, are six high school age young men and four young women. All are formally dressed in junior ROTC uniforms and sporting faint smiles. The photos are separated by three lines of white text that read as follows. Margarine Beeman, incomparable service to blinded veterans and their families. A white line of text scrolled across the bottom of the page below all of the photos reads as follows. BVA outlines upcoming virtual national convention. The cover caption located on page two states, BVA icon Marjorie Beeman, known and beloved by all, has given her all for more than three decades to make BVA national conventions successful. Her voluntary service includes recruiting, motivating, and instructing local volunteers to care for blinded veterans and their families at the annual gatherings. Guest writer Sila Miller captures Marjorie's life of hard work and service in this issue of the Bulletin. The issue also provides additional information about BVA's upcoming national convention to be held virtually in August.